Hi. Somebody gave a really good comment the other on one of the other videos and asked the question, how are animals involved or are they involved at all in the soul level intuitive coaching process? And so I thought I'd take a few moments and share my experience as the coached human, <laughs> as well as the actual coach, um, because animals they play, they can play a role. Uh, it's just a little bit different. Soul level animal communication. I'm connecting with your animals. We're understanding what it is, why they're doing what they're doing to help you uh, see patterns, behaviors, whatever things that you have an opportunity to change for your own personal growth. Um, that's soul level animal communication. Soul level intuitive coaching. I'm working with the guides, the spirit guides to understand what of the four negative beliefs you're working on in that moment, which is not, and it can be any one of the four, not safe, secure, protected, not lovable, not good enough and not worthy. Um, and then we tried, we work through and identify workarounds that as you become aware of them and release them, things begin to shift. It's really cool. The animals aren't necessarily, aren't in the session per se. In those sessions, I'm actually working with spirit guides. Where the animals though, can help and come into play is as is outside of the sessions. Uh, for me, for example, as a as a student, as a coachy, <laughs> uh, as I'm working through or identifying, oh, there's that, and oh, I see that negatively. Oh, there's that workaround. Lucas will actually come alongside and either mirror the behavior. Um, emphasize something. He'll actually physically pull me on his leash in a direction to go see, take a look at something. Um, or when I'm feeling kind of weird. The other thing is my dog in spirit India will ring her wind chimes. If I have stumbled onto something that I need to take a look at, or I'm getting kind of all up in my head about something, she'll do that to just kind of break me up and out of it. So they will come alongside us to help us as we move along. So they're like a cheerleading squad to me on, on either side, you know, I've got India here and Luke here, Lucas here and, and everybody else behind me anyway. Um, and I've also had it where I'm in an intuitive coaching session with a client and their animal makes an appearance in the session. So I had, for example, a client that had a bird. And as soon as she began to see a workaround, identify a workaround and understand like how it, like all of the facets of it, the bird would really start to chirp and back her up. And I can tap into the bird while I'm, while I'm working with the guides and get confirmation too, and say, oh, the bird's also going to help you here, 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 just as a cheerleader. The guides are the ones that are helping you understand what negative belief and what work around and what work needs to be done. The animals from a soul level intuitive coaching perspective, the animals come alongside and just give you signs along the way. That's been my experience. If you have had a different experience, I would so love to hear about it because I think it'd be super cool. Um, but anyway, that's that's how I uh, that's how I have had animals help with soul level intuitive coaching. It is a little bit different. It's a different dynamic than soul level animal communication, but it's still super super cool. So let me know what you think, and if you have any more questions or anything, let me know that too because I would love to answer more. Have a wonderful day, everybody. Take care.